Hello, and welcome to the product launch of the Ethernet IOLINK Master. My name is Donia Silgalis, and I am the product manager responsible for this product. Today, we are covering session one. The module we are releasing in this launch is an extension of the ICE-1 product portfolio released earlier in 2017. So let's get started. I have broken up the training in this launch into three sessions. Smaller presentations will enable us to dive in deeper into each topic. Note, each session covers unique topics. So let's discuss our agenda for session one. I will begin by highlighting some key information on the module released in this launch. Next, we will see what makes up a typical IO-Link system. From there, we will discuss the typical IO-Link device pinout. Finally, we will complete the session by listing the key benefits of IO-Link. The key advantages with this module include the following. Multi-protocol support, specifically for Ethernet communication protocols. Once again, Ethernet IP and PROFINET protocols are supported on a single module. However, EtherCAT support is not supported on the current module. This will only become available at the end of 2018. An additional advantage is the innovative M12 power connector. This provides a higher current capability to power up more modules from a single power source. Comprehensive diagnostics continue to exist through the web server. The one differentiating feature with the module is the integrated IOLINK master. This provides additional diagnostics and parameters available for your application needs. This slide outlines some general technical information about the IO-Link Master, specifically operating temperatures, dimensions, and IP classes. The Pepperone Fuchs IO-Link Master supports connectivity of up to eight IO-Link devices. Four channels are available for sensors, four channels for actuators. With IO-Link, the module now enables integrated diagnostics and parameterization from the control level right down to the sensor level. Note, this was not available with the Ethernet I.O. discrete modules. However, now is a key advantage with the I.O. Link Master. So now let's take a quick look at what lies ahead in 2018. First, we will be introducing 16 digital input output universal modules. These modules will have the same benefits of the existing Ethernet I.O. discrete modules. However, their ports will be configurable. Versions of this module will exist without the control functionality and with the control functionality. A second module that will be released is an I.O. link hub. These hubs will have the capacity to support 16 digital inputs or 132 digital signals. Let's briefly take a look at the module nomenclature. For the most part, you will see that the naming standard of the module has been maintained. Where do you think IO-Link has been positioned on the layered architecture of an automation system? The slide indicates that IO-Link is positioned between the field bus networks and the sensor and actuator level. The IO-Link master communicates directly to the PLC at the control network through an industrial Ethernet protocol such as Ethernet IP or Profinet. A typical IO-Link system consists of the following. Sensors and or actuators that support IO-Link version 1.0 or 1.1 devices. Connectivity of sensors and actuators is made with a low-cost, unshielded, standard four-wire sensor or 5-wire actuator cable. Maximum cable distance is 20 meters between the master and the slave. Pepperone Fuchs IO-Link Master Module supports connectivity of Type-A and Type-B devices. 
Type A devices are typically sensors associated to channel A. Type B devices are typically actuators associated to channel B. When connecting IO Link Type A versus IO Link Type B devices, there are some key differences that should be noted. A Type A device does not use pin 5. Pin 4 is used to transmit the IO Link data, and pin 2 is used to transmit the digital input. On the other hand, on a Type B device, pin 2 and pin 5 are now used to supply the 24 volt DC auxiliary power to the device. Pin 4 still remains for transmitting the IO link data. One last point to mention is that Type A devices can be connected to Type B ports. You must be sure to disconnect the additional power supply, pin 2 and 5, because it might cause damage to the sensor. So now, let's move on to discussing the key benefits of IO link. The benefits discussed are supported with most IO-Link devices, but should not be overlooked when promoting the Pepperon Fuchs Ethernet IO-Link Master. In the following slides, we will review each benefit in more detail. The IO-Link member companies are growing rapidly. This slide was taken from the website www.io-link.com. With a universal and open standard, products and technologies can be sourced from over 167 known vendors in the automation industry. So be sure to choose what makes sense for your business. IO-Link member companies range from electrical drives to proximity sensors and everything in between. Note, Pepper and Fuchs is among this rapidly growing community of IO-Link members. With IO-Link, multiple smart devices can connect on a single IP address. Smart devices may include sensors or actuators. Furthermore, an IO-Link master shows up in the PLC as one device with one IP address. Establishing the mapping enables an easy way to collect diagnostics and perform remote parameterization which was not as easy as with IO-Link. IO-Link sensors offer parameter storage or simple device replacement. This is important to note that this is only available with version 1.1 IO-Link devices. In the case of a single device failing, this is a key feature you want to take advantage of. With IO-Link, the ability to store parameters in the master and automatically configure the device rapidly reduces commissioning time. Another key benefit with IO-Link is the ability to assure correct devices are connected to the expected ports on the module. This feature is known as device validation. The feature makes sure that IO-Link ports only will operate when compatible or identical IO-Link devices are attached. IO-Link provides the ability to connect analog sensors without analog modules. IO-Link is unique in that it transmits the true digital process value of the sensor without the need for analog translation. Over a standard three-wire cable, all parameters and information about the sensors are available. Many IO-Link devices provide the pre-converted actual engineering units of the measurement they are providing. For example, in the figure above, the IO-Link devices have the ability to provide the position value in millimeters in the process data to allow for easy integration. This eliminates any calculations required, reducing setup mistakes and getting the inspection operating faster. Before we depart, I wanted to be sure you were aware of the number of ways you may connect with us here at Pepper and Fuchs. These include technical support, Ask the Expert, website, Twitter, and blogs. I encourage each of you to keep in touch on any questions or concerns you may have on Pepper and Fuchs products. Have a great day and thanks again for attending the webinar.